Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to make donuts and for that I rolled out some dough colored clay on a setting 3 and I'm using this hole punch to punch out some circles. This way I get the same size for all my donuts. Now you just roll it up in a ball, squeeze it a tiny bit flat here and then I am going to poke the hole with a needle tool and I'm gonna do this from both th sides of this little donut. And I have this dotting tool. I'm using that because it makes the hole a little more interesting to look at. And there I have my donut and now I'm just giving it a tiny bit of texture. When I made enough of my donuts, I am going to give them some soft pastel color. I'm using this light brown first. I have another video of making donuts. This is actually more because I want to try out the Modena paste. But let me show the way through uh, making these donuts anyway. You will find a link in the info box below to the old donuts that I have. Then I'm using this lighter brown colored of my uh, soft pastels and I'm using that on top and on bottom of all of these donuts. And I am ending off with this red brownish color here that I'm just scratching a tiny bit to have a little of the dust first and then I'm just giving all of my donuts a tiny bit of that. And when I'm done with that, it is time for baking. Subscribe, like, and ring the bell button. Now for the real star in this little video here, the Modena paste. I am going to take off this airtight lid here and take out a tiny bit of the paste. You don't need much of this, uh, so just a tiny bit of that. Uh, this Modena paste is translucent when it dries up, uh, so you need to uh, mix it with something. And I'm using a tiny bit of red here. I wanted a pink color. I wanted a really screaming pink color, but um, instead I got this light pink color. But okay, I'm gonna go with it. Um, so I'm just gonna mix this paint and the Modena paste really really good together. I ended up using all the red and all the white that I had here uh, mixing it all together in one big color. Then I took a tiny bag that I had lying around and I am just going to pop it all in there this step was actually not necessary because um, it didn't help me as I wanted it to. I wanted it to work like a, um, I don't know the word for this, these bags, were piping bags. I wanted it to work like a piping bag, but um, that didn't actually go as planned. So you can just take it from the plate you have right there where you mix it and then put it on the donuts instead. But let me show you how I did this because I did it with a white as well so that I could make some decorations on top of my donuts and again that would have been easier without the little bag. So in the, fu so in the future I am just going to mix it on my little glass plate here and use it directly from the glass plate instead. But now I'm doing it with these small piping bags. So here you see I have the little white one as well. That had a little dried out place here, so I'm just removing that. Um, and this one is like uh, four weeks old and it had dried out a little too much. So I ended up mixing some white instead. When I am working on small details, I like to use a big uh, icicle stick here and some double sided tape and then just uh, put these small donuts on there. Don't put them too close to each other. And then I can work with them here on this little stick. And that makes it kind of easier to grab a hold of it and work with it. And then you don't have to put your fingers in everything and stuff like that. 
So I'm just placing a tiny piece of the uh, pink here around the donut. Actually, I wanted to make lines with it here, but that didn't work out as I wanted it to. So I ended up spreading it all over the little donut with my toothpick. And then I went for the white one and was trying to make some white lines here on top of this one. But this Medina paste here in the white was a little too dry to make these lines as I wanted it to. But it actually works pretty well. So I continued with this for a few uh, of the donuts. I ended up making some new white here, so again just the Modena paste and some white paint, mixing that all together and put it, putting it in this little bag for a piping bag. Uh, and as you can see I put the pink all over the donuts and now I'm just going to try different kind of things with this uh, for the decorating part. Um, and I tried with some uh, lines like this fourth and back and I tried with dots and some crisscross patterns um, I just took my time and tried out a lot of stuff here because I really wanted to get a feel for this Modena paste and here I found out that it was easier to use a toothpick to put this on and make the small patterns on here than it was to um, use a little piping bag. So I'm just using my toothpick right here. I also found out that it was easier to make the decoration when the pink uh, glaze was all dried before I made the decorations with the white here. But um, yeah, that's just some... Um, observations that I made myself with this paste. As I was done with the donuts, I squashed out the rest of the Modena paste on my uh, glass plate here and let that all dry up just to make uh, a little test on how hard this was and how strong it was. And as you see here, that actually needs quite a force to rip it, but you can rip it. Um, it's like a thin plastic when it's hardened. Then I'm just using my Fimo glaze to glaze all of my small donuts here. I made another batch of the donuts, so I made them in blue. I wanted a light blue and that turned out really dark blue. So I'm really, really not good with the colors right here. So I will have to try that again. But actually, I think they turned out really nice as well. So this was a fun experiment to me. And uh, I really like this Modena paste for decorating cookies and cakes and stuff like that. I think that will come in handy here and there. So I found the Modena paste on AliExpress. You just uh, type in Modena paste and then you should be able to find it in there. It is kind of expensive, but there is a lot in that little box you get. So um, I think it's kind of worth the money. It's easier than a liquid, um, liquid polymer clay and it's easier than using polymer clay as the icings and stuff like that so i kind of really like this one anyway that was all for today i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and happy crafting